It's been years since I pulled out all my silver and did a full stack video. Let's do it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. Now before I take you downstairs, show you my full silver stack, a few quick things. First, I'm not making this video to flex, okay? I'm not trying to brag. A lot of people have asked me to do a full stack video on silver. I did one on gold uh, last year. So I, I'd love to do it, but I don't want people to misunderstand me, okay? This is, this is uh, you know, to entertain and to encourage people to stack. Please be careful not to compare your stack with mine or with anyone's. We're all doing our very best with what we have, okay? And frankly, there is always someone with a bigger stack than yours <laughs> and bigger stack than mine. And, and remember this too, this is just silver, okay? It's, it's a thing. You can't take it with you when you die. So make sure you're storing up treasure where it really counts. All right, so with that being said, let's go do it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and this took me about four hours to gather up, take apart, and then display on these two tables. I actually had to put a couple extra leaves in this table to hold it all. I had no idea if it was gonna fit. So it's a lot of work, something I probably won't do for a long time, but I'm so excited to do it right now. This whole table is going to be uh, government minted sovereign silver and rounds, just this table. So let's start with the Eagles. You'll see on the left-hand side, a lot of toned, a lot of cull or circulated Eagles. Big shout out to Tim Marshner at the Coin and Stamp Shop for helping me get going on Silver Eagles years ago. He used to let me, you know, pour through all the ugly looking silver, scratched up, circulated, just a mess, right? And you could see some major toners over here. Uh, and I got them for like a buck over spot back then, or maybe even at spot sometimes. So thank you so much, Tim. Those days are long gone now, all right? So <laughs> I really did focus on eagles as a priority in my stack. Being an American, I wanted American silver. And I'm so glad I got them all over here as you start to work your way down. These are more brilliant, uncirculated. Uh, quite frankly, I don't care. I don't care if it's, you know, brilliant, uncirculated. I don't care what the date is. I don't care the rarity. I just want American silver for the trust and recognizability that it offers. So right here, that's it. And oh, well, I apologize for the colorized. Okay, I almost didn't put these out. <laughs> I probably should have put them way over in the corner here, but they're not going to stay colorized long. I'm going to put xylene on them and get that plastic off these American silver eagles. I don't like it. So anyways, those are the eagles. If you have mint sealed tubes of eagles. Keep them sealed, especially if you're going to turn around and sell them at some point in the future. I'm not. And I have a YouTube channel, so I like to display this stuff. So I opened it up. Not a big deal if you do or don't. But, uh, you know, again, if you, if you want to keep them sealed, that's great. And oh, I didn't use gloves to put any of this silver down, just like the grading services don't use gloves. I didn't either. Okay. It's just bullion to me. All right. So that's American Silver Eagles. Uh, 752 ounces of eagles. 752. Mm. Let's move on to the maples. Love the maples. Fun fact, the maple was the first tube of silver I ever purchased back in 2018. I love the e iconic maple design. Love them. Now, I have to admit, some of the earlier ones down here okay, have milked up. They really had a problem with milk spots, uh, but 2018, they seem to have solved it. I love the uh, radial lines, the security features, the privy, uh, privy marks on the maples. They're beautiful, beautiful sovereign silver coins. Highly recommend you stack maples, but, but, but stick with 2018 or later to avoid the milk spots. None of these have milked. They're fantastic. Uh, 500 and 32 ounces of maples. So the Brits, 
Got 117 Britannias. Love them. And then right down here, you can see it. I just got a few of these right here. The uh, Philharmonics. One, two, three Phillies. One, two, three Kangaroos. And the only silver Krugerrand. That's it. Why? Because I like my silver, my sovereign silver, from uh, America and Canada, close to home. Now, let's talk about silver rounds. This has been the most important silver stacking target over the last couple of years. With all the high premiums on coins, I've been focused on rounds. So let's just take a quick peek at some of these. Th right here, the cowboy round. I started with this because last year, this was, in my opinion, the round of the year. My favorite round. They have what amounts to security features on these rounds. They're absolutely beautiful. Scottsdale Mint did a great job with the cowboy round, and I grabbed a bunch of them. Love them. Also, SD Bullion, big shout out to them. They did a phenomenal job with their Sword of Truth series. I got a tube of those. Their anniversary rounds were a steal back when I bought them. Excellent value in the uh, anniversary round, as well as the Freedom rounds. Those are absolutely beautiful too. Love SD Bullion's Freedom round. And then recently, I've been getting some of these um, uh, talent rounds from Tim. Really like the talents. They're beautiful as well. And then if you are a stacker of silver rounds, you got to have buffaloes, right? That is iconic. So, of course, I guarantee you have buffaloes if you stack silver rounds. Buffaloes, got a bunch of those. Morgans. I love the Morgan design, so I got some Morgan rounds there. Up and down, there we go. And then finally, I'll finish off with the trade unit rounds and a couple of mishmash right there. So we're talking in total amount of rounds, 410, 410 ounces. So table one is done. By the way, I'm gonna tell you what you'll never see in my stack. And that is slabbed modern bullion. You're never gonna see that, whether it be rounds or coins. I don't think it's worth it. You know, old numismatic coins, sure, but not modern bullion. And you're never going to see physical platinum or copper. I don't see them as a good prepper stacker option. Platinum has never been a monetary metal in the U.S. That matters to me. And frankly, as a prepper stacker, I don't want to risk even an outside chance that platinum could be mistaken for this stuff, physical silver in a barter scenario. So no plat platinum on this table. You're not gonna see copper, it's way too bulky. But please don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that speculating with platinum is a bad idea. Trading it in the paper markets could be a great play. Even trading base metals too, like copper, could be wicked smart, as they say up here in New England. In fact, I think one base metal could make people a lot of money soon. And that is nickel. Now, you're not going to see nickel on either of these tables. But nickel is really important. So, so before I get over to that other table over there full of silver, silver bars and pours and foreign coins and semi-numismatic stuff, allow me a few minutes to make the case for nickel. While there are more than 743 silver mines in operation globally, only 127 of them are in the United States. 17%. That's a supply risk, in my opinion, for silver. But that is nothing compared to the non-existing nickel mines right here in America. We're in critical condition in the area of nickel. Did you know that we only have one nickel mine? in America. One. We're also short nickel because of some messed up global supply chains. The trouble with the Houthis being the latest challenge. 75% of the world's nickel comes from countries like China, Russia, Indonesia. They're all non-free trade countries and they don't like us. Many people believe the demand for nickel is going to skyrocket soon. People like uh, Elon Musk, who practically begged for more nickel mining. Now, I'm not here to tout or trash EVs. You may have one, <laughs> you may vow to never have one, but they need nickel in a big, big way. 
So that's why I'm really interested in Alaska Energy Metals. It's a pure play on American nickel. Their Nikolai Nickel Project is in a fantastic location in what's called the Eureka property. They've got the infrastructure, and that's really important. The property is right next to another mining company, a private one with some heavy hitters tied to it. We're talking Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, Ray Dalio, and others. They bought their piece of land right next to Alaska Energy Metals because their uh, fancy AI tools and algorithms pointed to great nickel mineralization where Alaska Energy Metals is. What does that tell you? Finally, price. Their CEO bought this property from owners who had previously spent $30 million on exploring and drilling for nickel. He bought it for $1.4 million. 95% off. That's a sale. That's a steal. Not to mention that with Alaska Energy Metals, you also get some positions in copper and other precious metals like platinum and even some gold. So check them out. Their ticker symbol is A-K-E-M-F. Of course, do your own due diligence. Research them before you become a shareholder. Don't just do it because Yankee told you, but definitely put them on your watch list at least. All right, so now let's get over to table number two. And we're going to start with constitutional silver or 90% silver or sometimes referred to as junk silver. All right, don't, don't hate on that. You know, coin dealers like to separate or differentiate between that stuff and this stuff, and sometimes they call it junk. All right, so this is 90%. Uh, I'm going to call it 90% silver. The first row right here is dimes, dimes. Mostly rosies. I do have quite a few mercs in there. Anyway, there's 114 ounces of dimes in there. And now quarters. This is the hardest barter box to fill. All Washington quarters. I love the design of the Standing Liberty, but not to stack. There's way, way too much wear in a Standing Liberty. There's 372 ounces of quarters. And my barter box is full, all right? I actually have a tube over that barter box. Over here, the half dollars. Love the half dollars. We've got mostly Kennedys and Benjis. In fact, I think, where was it? Oh, right here. That, that's my only walker, I think, in the barter box. It's full, 222 ounces of half dollars. Uh, also, over here, right here, you're gonna see the Patriot Pistol. These are 90% silver proof quarters. No wear on that. And then a Morgan, a couple Ikes that are partial silver, a Booker T. Washington, Bicentennial Kennedy half and quarter. They have some silver in them. That's it. Those are the constitutional silver. We're talking 708 ounces total. Okay, that, that's a rough estimate because you, you do have wear uh, on these, so I, I rounded down. <laughs> it's definitely uh, you know conservative, 708 ounces. All right, so one thing you'll notice too, that's the only Morgan there. Morgan, there's no peace. I don't stack Morgan and peace dollars. It's not because I don't love them. I think they're beautiful, but they're just too expensive to stack in my opinion. So let's move on. Let's go to bars, okay? Pez. That's so funny. I, I remember getting that. Pez happens to be my uh, favorite childhood candy, uh, maybe even adult candy. But anyways, I love Pez, so I had to get something like that. That's just a fun uh, piece of silver. 100 ounce I just got that. It's my first, probably my last 100 ounce silver bar. I'm not a big bar guy here, as you can probably tell. Got a, a 10 ounce, some more 10 ounces, a beautiful, uh, that's, a, that's a semi numismatic bar right there. Thank you so much, Stacking Server, for that. Uh, and some one ounce bars, a two ounce bar. Big shout out to Nick Coin for that. Thank you, Nick. Got a couple dragon bars here, a Mandalorian Beskar bar. And that, if you remember my original intro on my channel, that's iconic right there. A couple, oh, now we're gonna get into pours here. So we have a, a couple silver dragons pours. Very special, one of my Sun Little Stacks uh, commission for me. The other was the second bar Silver Dragons ever met, made. Um, 
and Tiger Sacker, thank you for that bar. We've got Tuli Tuli's heart, we got Silver Dragon's heart, we got Silver Dragon's channel round, we got uh, Salivate Metal's channel round, my channel round, and some other pours that are really fun that I just, you know, I enjoy and very meaningful to me, like that that cross and the and the and the ice cream cone. That was a beautiful gift. A little bit of gold in the middle of that, another gorgeous gift. Now there's the uh, Silver Dragon's pour there, and of course Stacker. You see that on a lot of my videos. So those are the bars. Uh, and, and pour. So I got 160 ounces in uh, bars and uh, I got 27 ounces of, uh, of silver in pours. Now pours are pretty much for fun. I include them in my stack only for this, but they really aren't a stacking target. This is fun stuff. This, this is stuff I do to support others or just gifts from people that you know, you know show generosity and blessings to me. So that's, that's it for that. It's not a lot. Okay, so let's get down. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. So we've got some uh, other bartering bars, I guess you could call it. So rounds and bars. Shout out to Silver Day from Local Silver Mint for these one-tenth ounce silver rounds, one-tenth ounce silver bars, a little barter bag. I've been literally bartering with this stuff and that stuff. So really cool. Thank you so much, Silver Day, for that. So foreign silver. I'm not going to go too deep into this. I'm just going to show you that. That's the Bermuda triangle silver I just recently bought. A lot of these come from, oh, when I was young. Some of them, and I can't flip that over or else I'll get demonetized. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Switzerland, some of these come from my grandfather who collected this. And they have varying you know, levels of silver in them. Uh, some of them just fractional, small amounts, trace amounts, uh, 80%, some 40%. Uh, that's the Bermuda. That, that means a lot to me, that Bermuda coin right there. I think it has 40% silver in it. Uh, Anza's just fun, beautiful. Yeah, those are right. Those Balboas are from my grandfather. Means a lot. World's Fair coin right there. And so, yeah, foreign coins. Don't have a lot. Total, 11 ounces. Roughly 11. All right, so there we go. Got some extra stuff in there. All right. Now, let's get to the fun stuff, the semi-numismatics. I already talked about uh, that from Stacking Surfer. Uh, we've got some, oh, look at that, silver, silver back right there. Wow, that's cool. All right, so again, I'm going to just fly around here, just show you. This, this really isn't stacking per se, because you're paying a lot of premium for this stuff. You know, like the V75 or the West Point Mint. Uh, eagles there. Th this is, notice they're all capsuled. I really try to keep these in good shape. Just They're just beautiful. There's two ounces in here, one ounces, there's five ounces. Really cool silver. A lot of fun. Oh, just, this, this stuff is to, you know, just to celebrate silver and maybe as a reward for your stacking. Every so often you get some of this. And here's a colorize that I just can't bring myself to remove. Um, just <laughs> oh, there's one of the first semi-numismatics I ever got, the St. Helena. Oh, wow, brings back a lot of memories. A lot of cool silver here, a lot of great designs. You know, those are special designs and mintings of the uh, maple leaf. Some animal stuff, oh, just really cool silver, fun silver. Over here, George Washington, my favorite president. I got a whole whole series of this stuff in here. And I do have a slabbed. There is one. <laughs> uh, George Washington, Paul Revere. So with semi-numismatic, we're talking 197 ounces. Now I'm sure you're interested in the grand total of all this silver. And for that, let's go back upstairs where we can break it all down for you. All right, so let's take a look at the breakdown of my silver stack. The first and largest portion of the stack is sovereign coins. No surprise there. 48.2%, about half. Rounds, 14%. That is going to be going up. I would expect in the next few years to see that uh, be larger than the uh, third type of silver, and that's the constitutional 90% silver at 24.2%. Uh, I got a few more rolls of dimes to go on that, and then I'm pretty much going to hold on the constitutional. Let the, the rounds uh, increase as a percentage. Uh, silver bars, 5.5%. Uh, some of those are barterable. And then pours and foreign coins. You can see how small that is. That's going to uh, stay that that, uh, that amount, I'm sure. Semi-numismatics. Now, I don't see that ever getting higher than 10%. I don't think that 
it should get higher than 10% of my overall silver stack, but that's the fun stuff. All right, so the total silver in my stack is 2,921 troy ounces. I'm very happy with that. And uh, I also really appreciate you watching this video all the way through to the very end. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.